Well, this is one of the most popular stories on our website tonight. 16 WABT is giving you a first look inside the state's new crime lab. Adas Brown shows us the new technology they're hoping will help them solve cases faster. Cramped, cluttered, and unclean. That's how State Crime Lab Director Sam Howell describes the crime lab's current home in Jackson. There's ventilation issues, there's leaks in the roof, we've had ceiling tiles fall in. Howell had to shut down the lab's latent fingerprints lab because of possible mold in the ceilings. It's just not really a safe environment for them to work back here. Now they're just weeks away from moving into a new $30 million facility. It's almost four times the size of their old space. That means more space for new high-tech equipment. Maybe we'll move into a little bit more of that CSI age. One of the features of this new building, a special controlled substance lab where they deal with chemicals like spice and use special air controlled technology like these snorkel heads, which are designed to keep fumes away from the chemist. We are looking at some uh, new microscopes, uh, some that will actually give us 3D images. They're also looking at technology to enhance security footage, like this video from an armed robbery at the Green Room Saturday. Which is a big deal, you know, uh, being able to you know, um, clarify, you know, pictures. Lawmakers funded this project over three years, but Howell says they still need more help. We could use a few more people as well. The crime lab will move into its new home over the next few weeks. In Pearl, Hadass Brown, 16 WAPT News.